Okay, let's continue with our uh, videos. And in this video, we will talk about Align, the Align Directive. So uh, as you saw in the previous video, when we were talking about declaring space for different type of uh, data, uh, we ended up with some data that is not aligned. And for example, if you examine the content of this address, address 58 hex, you will see that we have uh, the value of 41, um, which is the capital A, and that's the ASCII equivalent of 41 hex uh, in ASCII, that is capital A, followed by the first value of our, of our word data type. So that is the A that we have, followed by the first element of word. And you see here that this number one, this value one, if I can double click this, Maybe not. Um, it starts at this byte. So this is my first byte, 0, 1, followed by two bytes, 0, 0, 0, 0, followed by the fourth byte, which is 0, 0. So this value, this value 1, occupies four bytes, starting with this address right here, starting at address 59, actually. And it goes to uh, 15 from 59 to 5a, 5b, and then 5c, and then the next element, which is 2, uh, starts at address 5d. Now, this looks okay, but sometimes you want your data to be aligned to a specific address in memory. And to do that, we can use the align directive. So in order for us to do that, we can use the align directive. Now, before I show you how to use this directive, let's go and read a little bit about it and see why is it important and how it works before we code with align. Uh, so generally speaking, uh, if you have the data at a specific multiple address number, uh, it could help with the performance sometimes. So let's say you have a, a CPU or a microcontroller or a microprocessor that is uh, let's say fetching uh, multiples of four bytes at a time, which is one word. So the process is fetching one word at a time. Um, it makes more sense that if I'm declaring word length variables, to have these variables start actually at a word multiple in my address space. So if the variable starts at address zero and the next one is at address four and the next one is at address eight and so on, the CPU can fetch this data more efficiently. So uh, let me read you a little bit from uh, this ARM uh, uh, manual right here. Um, it basically talks a little bit about the uh, align directive and then it talks about why would you uh, use the align directive in your coding they uh, list a few reasons right here uh, one of them for example is uh, use align to take advantage of caches on some arm processors for example this microcontroller uh, has a cache with 16 byte lines and if we use align 16 to align functions and function entries on a 16 byte boundaries uh, to maximize efficiency of the cache. So that's one reason. Uh, LDR, D, and STRD, uh, these are two instructions for load and store. Uh, they load and, and store double word transfers, so they can take advantage of an 8-byte align. Basically, you know, uh, transfer 8 bytes at a time, so it makes more sense if the data is already aligned at an address that is a multiple of 8. Um, you can read the rest or you can read more uh, on your own if you like. But I, what I want to show you now is how to calculate or how to understand, uh, how, to, how to calculate align um, numbers. So like, what does it mean to do align two or align three or align four and so on? So let's say I put um, a number after this align directive and let's say I put number three. What does that mean? Does it mean that the next uh, variable is initiated at an address that's a multiple of three? You would think so, but actually that's not the case. So let me let me show you another uh, another document uh, that you uh, you've seen before. 
this is coming from the uh, the the GNU uh, assembly manual. Uh, so, like it, it says here that the align directive, the impl implementation actually varies from system to system. Um, so, right here it says specified varies from system to system. So, for example, align eight advances the location counter um, until it is a multiple of eight, and that is for uh, for one system that is different than the other one in the uh, i386 architecture. On the other hand, if you put a line three, uh, it will advance the location counter until it is a multiple of eight. So basically, in one architecture, if you put a number after the align, that number is the power to the two a multiple. So like two to the power of three is eight. Right in the pre in the other architecture, if you put uh, eight, that is the multiple itself. So it turns out that in our architecture that we're working on, we're following the second uh, convention. So align three is a uh, uh, going to advance the address to a multiple of two to the power of three, which happens to be a multiple of eight. So if I want a multiple of four, this number would be two. So now, what does that mean? It means if I have a variable, let's say in this case, uh, that was my byte, and I declared it as a byte, and it's uh, the hex value of that was 41. Now, the next declaration that I'm, I'm doing is this word. This word array is going to start at an address that is a multiple of four. So let's go ahead, compile and download this code to the board and see what we get. Okay, so let's look again at the the address. Uh, previously, we have we had address fifty eight with the value of of a in it, and then immediately after that was a declaration of, or was a value of our word. If you remember in the previous example, we had 0, 1 here. But in this case, the first element of this word actually is declared at the next address, which is a multiple of 4. So what is the next address that is a multiple of 4 after 58 hex? So let's do some uh, quick math here to prove that this is valid. So the, the address that we were looking at is 58 in hex. So if we convert this value to decimal, um, that would be uh, 8 plus 5 times 16. So that would be 88 in decimal. And 88 is indeed divisible by 4. Um, if you divide that by 4, you get 22. So 20. Uh, this address, 58, is a multiple of 4. Now, without using the align directive, what happened was the first element of the word was starting at address 59 hex. So 59 in hex is uh, going to be 89 in decimal, which is not divisible, not divisible by, by 4. So, on the other hand, when we used the align directive, we ended up with, let me switch the screen here, we ended up with address 4C. So let's see if 4C is a multiple of 4. Uh, sorry, uh, 5C, not 4, 5C. Uh, let's see if 5C is a, this address right here. Let's see if that is a multiple of 4. So we'll do some math. Um, so 5C in hex. That will be 12 plus 5, so this will be 5 times 16 plus uh, 12, and this will be 92. And 92 divided by 4 will give us 17. So 92 divided by 4 is 17, so that means 92 is actually a multiple of 4. So we achieved the uh, requirement. Now, let's go back to the program. Uh, the programming side of things, you will see now, since I have an array of words, each element is occupying a word of space, is occupying four bytes of space. Uh, you will see the first element is one, which is declared here. The second one is two, which is here. Then um, three, 
Yeah, sorry. Let's backtrack. Uh, we we actually had address fifty five C. So five C is the first one. Let me move this up a little bit. So this is my one. It's occupying uh, a complete word. This is two. The second word, three. The third word, and four. The fourth word, word which correspond to my elements one, two, three, four, right here. So let's change this align two from align two to align three. So if I make this change, I would expect the first element of this array to start at an address that is a multiple of 8. So let's go ahead and do that. So now, if you take a look at the content of memory, again, this is where my A is. That's this byte right here. That's this location. It's location 58. Now, notice that this word array, 1, 2, 3, 4, is not starting at 5C, it's actually starting at 5, at 6, 0 or 60 hex. Because 5C, as we said, um, was 92, and 92 is not a multiple of 8. However, 6, 0 hex is a multiple of 8 because 6, 0 hex is 96, and 96 divided by 8 is 12, so that is a multiple of 8. So changing this number, so the lesson that we have here is that changing this number will change the uh, the address at which the next element or the next variable or the next value is declared. Um, and in this architecture, we say that this number basically uh, is, is the power to the two that's the multiple of that address. So in this case, so this is basically saying, let me uh, disconnect so I can write a comment. So basically this is saying, um, next variable is at two at an address that is a multiple of two to the power of three, which is a multiple of eight. Okay, and obviously, if you do, if you make this four, then the address must be um, a multiple of uh, 2 to the power of 4 or, or a multiple of 16. Uh, there is some uh, nice math behind this, actually, that has to go with, uh, with, uh, with the binary values. So I'm going to dive into that just for, for a couple quick minutes. So let's take a look at uh, the multiples, okay? So let me, let me actually move this stuff here. I'm going to write some stuff. I'll pause the video, I'll write it up, and then I'll explain it. Okay, so I wrote a bunch of uh, values here. Let's remove those. I brought a bunch of values here, and basically, uh, I want to correlate what you see on the screen in binary to the explanation that you saw on the uh, the GNU uh, assembly manual. So here, it says something about uh, the lower the it is the number of low order zero bits the location counter must have after advancement. So this what this is like a fancy way of talking about math. Essentially, they're they're explaining two to the power of three is eight. But if we take a look, so like how how is this even related? So let's take a look at the binary values, and that will make sense to you. So if you take a look at the first number, um, is this a multiple of zero? Yes. Is it a is a multiple of two? Yes. Four, etc. Because zero is a multiple of all these numbers. Now let's do let's do these values. This is zero. This is one, this is two, this is three, four, five, you got the idea. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Now, if I want a multiple of two, which of these numbers are a multiple of two? Well, this is a multiple of two, this is a multiple of two, this is a multiple of two, and so on. Now, the question is, what is common between these numbers? The common is, the common factor is that the least significant bit is always zero. So this is zero, this is zero, this is zero. And you notice actually every even number has the least significant bit equals to zero. And it happens that every even number is a multiple of two. So um, that means all these numbers are multiples of two. Now let's take a look at multiples of four. Well, the first number is a multiple of four. Zero is a multiple of four, right? Four is a multiple of four. Eight is a multiple of four, and so on. What is common between all these numbers? The least 
two bits are always zero. 12 is a multiple of four, and so on. So if I want a number in binary that is a multiple of four, the least significant two digits must be zero. Same thing goes with a multiple of eight. This is a multiple of eight, this is a multiple of eight, and we only have two because we, we stop at 16, and then the next one would be, um, uh, 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 the next number will be one, zero, 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 okay? So any number that has the least significant bits equal to zero is a multiple of eight. And that what was, that's the information that was trying, uh, the, the manual was trying to convey. So basically if I do align or dot align basically two, it means that the next address should be a multiple of four because they were saying that the this number declares or indicates how many zeros uh, are required in the least significant bits of the address. So if these were my addresses, right, the next address that has two zeros in its lowest bits will be a multiple of two. And if you do three here, the next address that has three zeros in the ne in the in the in its least significant bits will be a multiple of eight. Now, like I said, a, a, a quicker way to think of this, just think of this, you know, take this three and just raise it, or two to the power of three is eight, right? So uh, to the power of three is eight. So basically this is equivalent to the fact uh, a line three means the next variable will be at an address that is a multiple of eight. And that's it for now. I hope you understood how a line directive works and I'll see you in the next video.